Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. This is the second tutorial of this playlist on how to create the 3D CAD model of the robotic arm in SOLIDWORKS, right? So this right here, as you can see, this is a gripper. These are the links and the base and the rotational part of the robotic arm. So in this tutorial, I will explain you how to 3D model this link, right? And this will be used multiple times in the robotic arm. So let's begin. So in the previous video, I have created this base part and this time I'm going to create a new part file and click OK. Right. And I will change the background to plain white because I like working in the plain white. I will make sure the units are millimeters MMGS. Right. After that, I will select the front plane, click on sketch. I will create a circle at the center. And I will select the smart dimensioning tool in order to specify the diameter for the circle. So the diameter is 60 millimeter. And after that, I will go to the features. I will select the extruded boss space in order to extrude it. And I will extrude it up to 105 millimeters. Right. As you can see, the direction of the extrusion is one direction or you can say the material is on one side which i don't want i want the material on the both side for that i will select here mid plane and as you can see we can see the yellow colored material on our sketch on the both side right and the benefit of doing this is that we get the plane at the mid of the material right so i will explain you how so i will select here plane from the reference geometry right and as soon as I select here the front plane as you can see this is exactly at the mid so from this reference front plane I'm gonna create another reference another reference plane so I can give an offset distance so I will give an offset distance of 30 millimeter right from the front plane and I will create another plane check the box so this is the plane and on this plane that I have recently created I will create a sketch so I will use this plane and I will click on sketch option. So this sketch will be created on the plane that I have just created, right? I will select a circle and I'm going to make a circle here. This is going to be a bigger circle. And then I'm going to create a midpoint line because I want half circle guys. I want to trim the rest of the circle. So this is going to be a reference midpoint line. So from this point to this point and it is also crossing the center point as well so I'm gonna select this line and I will select this option for construction geometry and it will be converted into the center line okay so now I will select the trim entities I will select the power trim and I will trim this half part of the circle so the midpoint line is used so that I can trim the half circle right now I'm gonna specify the radius for this partial circuit circle as 40 millimeter this is the radius all right so I'm gonna create here a horizontal straight line and then I will give it some dimension so the dimension is going to be 380 millimeter so it's going to be a longer line right okay so now I want the same half circle on the other side for that I'm gonna create a reference uh, reference line so I will select here center line and I will create here a random line like this right press escape button select this line and make relation horizontal this is the horizontal it will make line straight right I will hold control key I will select these two lines make relation equal so now what is the purpose what is the benefit of making this line I get this center point for which I can create the circle up to the above line so this is the benefit we make these reference line guys and similarly I'm gonna make another vertical reference line so what is the benefit of doing this I'm gonna delete it because I want the half circle right if I trim this circle it's gonna trim complete circle so that's why we create this half reference line in order to get our required result in order to get our required partial half circle 
so I'm gonna create the line I will create complete the sketch as you can see the sketch has turned into the gray one which means it is ready for the extrusion so I'm gonna select extruded boss base here and as you can see the material is on the both side on the sketch which we don't want this time so I'm gonna extrude it up to 10 millimeters as you can see our sketch is at the mid which we don't want this time so I'm gonna change it to let me show you this the material yellow color material is on the both side which I want on the one side as you can see and we also want to see make sure the direction is inward so right now the direction is outward which we want inward so how will change that I'll select this option to flip the direction to inward like this right okay so I will check the box so we have created this sketch so I'm gonna hide this plane and if you want to show the plane let me show you right click here click on show plane right click here click on hide plane the I button right okay so what's next so we have to create a sketch here so right click on this face and click on sketch and um, I can directly create a center point straight slot if you want to create it directly you can create it like this let me show you how you can get the center point like this you got it but if you are confused then I will explain you how to do this in the sim in a simple way so let's create a center line from this point and to the center point right and first I will delete this thing I will just delete this uh, center point straight line and then again select the center point slit straight line and this time you can get it like this so you can do it any any way you like I have explained you both so I'm gonna specify here the length of this line so this is going to be 150 for my case and you can specify the radius for this arc which is 25 millimeter that's done go to features select extruded cut specify through all and check the box so it's done right okay and now I am going to select the front plane again and click on sketch and what I'll do I will create a circle here so I'm gonna select the circle and I will get the midpoint by hover over this arc hover over this arc you will get this center point create a circle here on the center point and give the dimension as 60 millimeter this is going to be the same as we have made earlier 60 millimeter you have to go to the feature select extruded boss in both direction which means you have specified mid plane 105 check the box so we have created that thing as well now we need this to mirror on the other side either you can create it or you can mirror it so I will use the mirror so select the mirror and here we have the features to mirror window features to mirror window select this and select this feature you want to mirror and here you have to specify the plane so I will select here the front plane which basically cut this part in half like this so this is the plan and you can see this is gonna get mirrored we are missing a feature but I'll explain you later which feature so we have missed the fee uh, cut feature so how how you will do this you will right click on the mirror you will select the edit feature which is the very first option and then you can select it either from here or from the design tree it's up to you and you can check the box so it's there right so that is very simple thing you can do it okay so we are left with one more thing I'm gonna select this face and click on sketch and I will create a circle here as well so I'm gonna select a circle and I will create a bigger circle like this and I am going to assign the diameter which is 100 millimeter okay and then I have to extrude it on the other side I will make a circle here as well for at for the same diameter 100 millimeter you can do it very easily and I want to extrude it up to 10 millimeters in the outside direction so go to features select extruded boss space here 
mm, this is both directions so I want it at, I want the x-ray in one direction so I will select blind as you can see now this is the one direction you can flip the direction but I don't want that I want the x-ray in on the outside direction for 10 millimeters so I'm gonna specify 10 and it's gonna extrude 10 millimeter on the outside either you can change it from here but 10 millimeters is fine all right so now we have to give some fillets so I'm gonna select fillet and I'm gonna select this outer edge of the link that we just created and it's done 10 millimeter radius is fine for the fillet so what I will do I will select here mirror because I want the features to mirror on the other side so uh, here I will select um, this feature and this fillet as well and in mirror window a uh, mirror uh, plane I'm gonna select the front plane which cut the part in half so this is the front plane and I'm gonna check the box so uh, now I can assign any color I like assigning the color is an optional thing but uh, saving the part is a must thing so you have to save the part so I have assigned this yellow color to this part and now click on file click on save as and after that you have to save this part so I'm giving the part the name as part underscore three underscore link underscore one because this is my first link of the robotic arm so I will use this part in the next tutorial to create my second link as well so that's all for this video guys and see you in the next video